This city needs our help. We will pose as villains, but we'll act like heroes. The car. Hells yes, we'll need a car. Hi, I'm Lou Malik, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with my first review of the year, The Green Hornet. The last family-owned newspaper in Los Angeles is figuratively and literally trashed as its moronic new Playboy publisher turns publicity-seeking vigilante in The Green Hornet, an overblown, interminable, and unfunny update in bad 3D of the long-running 30s radio show and short live 60s TV series. There might be a funny movie and a story about a crime fighter who's in it only for the publicity, but The Green Hornet isn't it. Played by a slim down but woefully miscast Seth Rogen, Britt Reid is already a gossip column fixture for his hard parting ways. But when he takes the helm of the Daily Sentinel following the death of his despised father, under suspicious circumstances, Britt puts himself on the front page. <laughs> Christopher Waltz of Inglorious Bastards cashes in on his Oscar win with an embarrassing and relatively brief turn as a crime lord with an accent that wanders over several continents, and David Harbour hams it up as a crook or DA. Poor Edward James Olmos is cast as the editor of the Daily Sentinel, who watches his newsroom systematically demolished in the final half hour, thankfully probably along with any chance of a Green Hornet sequel. So I'm giving the Green Hornet zero stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. Me on this adventure. I'll go with you.